All right, welcome back to the channel. Today I have an old GTX 760 NVIDIA GPU graphics card from 2013. And uh, I, I, it works, but I do receive horizontal or vertical, I can't remember, vertical green bars on it. But I use it as my setup GPU just so I can get some kind of display. But once I installed an NVIDIA driver, into windows this card gives me the green bars i don't know if it's the card or it's maybe the driver compatibility i did try a few different drivers uh, but i decided since i'm here and i got time i took this thing apart it's just four little screws of course and i avoid the warranty but you know <laughs> okay whatever it's a 2013 card and i immediately noticed there's not even much thermal paste on this guy right here and there is the old thermal paste, uh, if you can see it. Not even much at all. So I'm going to, I am going to, I have to check that out. Did that thing just come off? Oh, I have to check that. That's the chip. It's an NVIDIA Taiwan 1308A. Yeah, that's the chip. All right. It's just like the, the I'm going to clean it off with isopropyl alcohol. Right here is your isopropyl. And I'm gonna go through the whole board and I'm gonna look for any burnt out, anything burnt out here. And it looked clean so far. There's no spills on it. This is my card. It just stopped kind of functioning as a gaming card and uh, with the green bars. And it has to be a software Windows thing because uh, I don't see any burned out anything on this board. I don't see any loose soldering. And I'm just going to, uh, you know, I should have a microscope, but I don't. I'm just looking for burn marks right now. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do, these aren't even bulging right here. Those cylinders, uh, they are looking all pretty good. Uh, yeah, looking fine, looking fine. So I am w really just going to wipe this puppy down with isopropyl, clean it up good, and put on some new, whoops, put on some new thermal paste. Here's the bottom of the board. There's no backing plate. Old school, baby. Old school. Here, let me turn around and get the serial number right. Watch me drop it. Oh my God. I'm glad I never threw these things out, man. It's always good to save stuff. I don't know. Can you get any really useful information? There's a serial number. But I am just going through eyeballing it. Like I said, all the uh, chips look good. Nothing looks burnt. No spillage, no corrosion, amazingly enough. Uh, yeah, look at the solders look good. Nothing broken off. Do to do, stay with me. Just checking that one there. I, you know, I need, I definitely need a microscope, but I can still see if anything's out of whack. They all look like they're in place, all the little resistors. Little capacitors, they all, oh, 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 is that one gone? Wait a minute. No, that's good. Okay, I thought I saw, all right, that's good. I thought I saw one fell off there. Okay, that is good. Good, 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 good. Again, I am no expert at this, and uh, I need to start practicing. Oh, and some GPUs, just soldering, replacing chips, putting the flux down, uh, getting a little heat gun. I did need a microscope, though, to make it a lot easier. I don't see any burns, any corrosion, but I will wipe her. Well, what's that right there? Nope, not too bad. I'll wipe her down and uh, put it back together. Here's the heat sink. Looking pretty decent. It's got two, not even any dirt in it. So this thing pretty impressive this thing's not even dirty after oh my god nine years yeah let's look at the fans let's get some flash i'm using a flash to get into the look at that not even any dust bunnies baby gaming g series there you go i think it's an msi right MSI, duh, it's right in front of my face. MSI. 
I wonder if I left the plastic on. Hold on. Nope, I took it off. Oh, yeah, here we go. MSI heat. Here we go. Right there's your MSI as well. And there's your MSI. All right, so let's get to it. I use a microfiber rag so I don't leave any dust or any lint. And I'm just going to, man, that's all there is. There's, there are no thermal pads on this thing. Uh, and I'm just going to slap that new paste on. First, I'll wipe her down, let her dry out, put the new paste on, and put her back together. And now I'm going to put it in one of my new CPU rigs I am starting to build and uh, eventually see if the green bars go away. But again, I think it's software related and driver related. This thing is so old. Uh, yeah, I guess because when the bars appear, it's after it does the NVIDIA GE Force driver update, and then blammo, it just, you know, the resolution works. You can change it, but you just get those damn green bars all over the screen, little thin green bars, and something's just out of whack. All right, that is all I'm going to do for today. No need to show you that. It's just going to wipe down real boring, and then uh, and then I put new thermal paste on it and be done. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. A little video on, I don't know. <laughs> Playing with an old GPU. All right, talk to you later.